Aloha, my friends, and Mele Kaliki Maka. Welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. My name is Don, and if you are new to this channel and would like to show some of your awesome support, there are a couple of ways you can do that today. The first option is simply click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content. The second option, if you like any of the pantry items or the hardware items that we're using in today's video, I'm gonna be leaving some links through Amazon in the description below. Now these links don't cost you a dime extra to use, but if you do your shopping through those links for these items, Amazon will send me a small commission for sending a little bit of business their way. And that helps this channel grow. And you know that I appreciate all of your support. Many mahalos, my friends. And now, without further ado, I give to you a forgotten holiday treat frozen in time. Something that is near and dear to my heart because my gram used to make this every single year around the holidays for us. And it was just something that you look forward to every year. So it is my honor to share with you this recipe for church window fudge. Now church window fudge gets its name from the tiny little marshmallows that are in the fudge. So when you cut it, they resemble little stained glass church windows. So grab your cup of cocoa and let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. All right, let's not forget to thank Rod the camera guy for holding us steady today. Now here I have just about everything we're going to need today. We're going to start off by taking 150 grams of the chocolate, reserving 50 grams for later, the butter, the vanilla extract, and the salt in what's referred to as a double boiler. This simply means that we're going to take a bowl and put it over a pot of boiling hot water. Double boiler. Okay, once the water has come to a boil, we're going to pull it off the heat and then take our bowl with the chocolate, butter, vanilla, and salt and set it right on top for three minutes. And while we're still over our pot of hot water, after three minutes, we're going to stir until all of our chocolate has melted. Once all of the chocolate is melted, remove the hot water. We're going to take the 50 grams of chocolate that were reserved earlier and drop it right in. Stir until all the chocolate has melted. This is going to temper the chocolate for us. It's going to take out all of the guesswork so we don't need any thermometers or anything like that. It's going to make it set nice and have a nice shine. We're going to add in our nuts if you're using them and our marshmallows. Make sure your chocolate isn't too hot. When you add the marshmallows, they will melt. It shouldn't be at this point, but just be sure. Fold all the chocolate, being sure to coat everything with all that nice fudge. And now you're going to turn it out onto your piece of wax paper, trying to keep it as even as possible. You'll then fold the wax paper over and pull back, keep an even tension so that it makes a nice cylinder. When you have a nice shape, simply tuck in the ends, wrap it in plastic wrap, and pop it in the fridge until it's solid throughout at least two hours. Okay, 
Once your fudge has had a chance to solidify in the fridge, you're going to pull it out of the fridge and let it sit on the counter until the outside is just tacky. Then you can proceed to this step. I've laid down a piece of plastic and I've put a strip of toasted coconut here. This could easily be anything else. Walnuts, peppermint pieces, powdered sugar, anything else. Today, we're using toasted coconut. Unwrap your fudge. Set it in the coconut and roll. Pressing firmly to try to pack things on the outside, but not so firmly that you break it. Once you feel you've packed about as much as you can on, kind of coat it up and roll it in the plastic. Then we're going to put this back in the fridge to solidify yet again. Once it's had a chance to cool down again, it's time to slice and enjoy. And there you have it, the forgotten holiday treat that needs to come back into fashion soon because it is delicious. So please, spread it like aloha. Now, if you liked today's video and would like to leave a small donation to help further this channel, you can do that by logging into Venmo and searching at Maui Craft Kitchen. From there, you can leave any amount you'd like from 10 cents right on up. There is no donation too small and it all goes to helping this channel grow. So Merry Christmas to all and to all a many mahalos and much aloha.